What's going on guys? I'm Renegade and once again I'm outside working on the Ninja 500. Let's talk about fairings for a bit, shall we? Fairings are expensive. What I mean by that is if you can find a company that makes new fairings for an older bike, they're expensive. Hell, even making new fairings, replacement fairings for a new bike, they're expensive. Buying used ones, a little cheaper, but still expensive and eh, questionable. You don't always get the best quality stuff, you know? You might go on eBay and you might find a fairing and it's listed like new and the price is right and then you get it and all the mounting tabs are broken off. It's not worth it. Well, sometimes it is. Now, the Ninja was having an issue. The back tail piece is three sections and they weren't sitting flush. Uh, you get up into high revs and it was causing a vibration through the bike and you could hear the panels rubbing against each other because they weren't actually tight to themselves. Reason for that. See this guy right here? Broken off on this side. See this ear right here with the little hole for the screw? Broken off on this side. See this little tab right here? Broken off on this side. Now everything's supposed to go together like a puzzle. It's supposed to slip in here and here and bolt together to form all one piece. With the ears being broken off, they're not going to sit flush. I'm not going to be able to bolt this together. We can get it close, at least none of the panels fall off, but that's about it. Now I've gone online and I can find used panels for like 60 bucks for one side, 60 for another, 20 for the middle, on the cheap side. Um, I would say average price, you're looking at 180 bucks to replace the whole tail section with new to you used fairings. Uh, I think it's Airstream, I'll put the link up, sells brand new panels that they make. Um, you just have to finish them and paint them. Well, they sell a tailpiece, which is all one section. That's about $200. Still a bit much. But it gives me the idea. What if I take this, I make it into a single piece so I don't need all the bolt holes. So that's what we're going to try today. Now, Victoria does not know about this yet. But you know what they say. When the boss is away, the grunt shall play. Well, it's her bike. So she's the boss on this one. Yes, insert the joke here about the girlfriend is always the boss, yada yada, yeah. Anyhow, so since she's not here right now, I'm gonna try and do this. Worst case scenario, we have to replace the fairings. She's already planning on replacing the fairings. It works out. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try plastic welding these fairings together to make one piece. Later on, I'll have to bondo them when we go to paint it. That's not a big deal, but we're gonna give this a shot, all right? Now, the plastic weld, you can buy the plastic welder. Uh, I think Harbor Freight's got them for like 40 bucks or something. I could be wrong on the price, but you can buy them. There's another way. Now, I learned this from YouTube, because doesn't everybody learn everything from YouTube these days? I mean, seriously. What you need, soldering iron and zip ties. What a lot of people don't realize is that fairings, fairing plastics, are made with ABS plastic. Now, ABS is an acronym for a longer thing. It's not anti-locking brake system on this, in this case. Zip ties are made of the same thing. ABS plastic. I bought this for a dollar. Gotta love the dollar store. Dollar for zip ties, they'll be my feller. All I gotta do is melt the plastic to the plastic and fill it with that. Sounds pretty simple, it's a little tedious, it's a little tricky, but I did this on my XJ and worked wonders. So we're gonna do it on this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plastic weld all these pieces in together, just like they would be if they were bolted together. And I've got a zip tie holding the ears together, so at least that stays. But unfortunately, humans don't have three hands, although my word, it would be so useful. And I've got everything lined up. 
So to do this, you need your soldering iron, which is nice and hot. I'm just gonna melt them together. Now, if you know anything about plastic welding, you already know this. But if you don't, when you're doing this, you want to melt about halfway down the plastic and try and get them to melt together. The whole idea is to take one plastic and one plastic and melt them together into one plastic. Then you use the filler to fill that little channel that you've now created. Zip die. Great filler. All I'm doing now is filling that channel, melting the plastics together with the zip tie in between. Solid. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side now.
all welded up. Normally, you would do both sides, just to make sure there was a good, solid weld in there. But, since this is still gonna go on the bike and we're not ready to paint or anything like that, I only wanna do the one side, just in case. But, this is now nice and solid. So, if all of my guesses are correct, I'm gonna put this on the bike, bolt it on, and everything will be good. Let's give it a shot. Small gap right there, but nothing too bad. A little bit of time, all bolted back together. It's good. Good. It needs a little bondo, and obviously we need to repaint. But that just saves Victoria. That just saves Victoria about two hundred dollars, unless she decides to go with something different. But we'll see what's up with that. That's right, folks. It's a little bit short, but hey, a dying camera battery is a dying camera battery. I gotta get another one. Gotta have a backup one, you know? <clears throat> you know, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. As always, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, feel free to subscribe. You all have a good day. Keep rocking and rolling.